Hey everybody, this is Mr. Keeney again, back for a third day of geometry, remote learning lessons. Um, so we're going to continue area and perimeter. Today we're going to talk about rhombi, or just a rhombus, and kites. Um, we did parallelograms yesterday, and a rhombus is a parallelogram. So just starting off, I gave you a picture here, and you know from yesterday, or just prior knowledge, that area is base times height. Uh, the reason why I group rhombus with a kite is that there is a second one we have the second area formula, which is area equals one half times diagonal one times diagonal two. And I pair it with kites because the kite, as you can probably guess by now, has the same formula, area equals one half times diagonal one times diagonal two. Now, a lot of times I get a question of why. Why is that the case? And really there is two reasons. So I got a space right here that I'm gonna show you why for these two and then I'm gonna do some example problems just using that new formula. Um, so why? This right here is a rhombus. All four sides are congruent, so we know it is a rhombus. And the big thing about a rhombus, and hopefully that you remember from the polygons unit, is that their diagonals are perpendicular. So with this length right here, I'm gonna create a, another type of side. So bear with my sketches. And this would, this new segment right here would have a length of diagonal two, whatever that is. It goes from endpoint to endpoint. And I'm gonna do the same up top. And then for diagonal one, I'm gonna connect these. And I think some of you guys are able to see where I'm going with this now, that this has a side length of diagonal two. I have created really a rectangle here. I know it's a rectangle because if the diagonals are perpendicular and I constructed these in a way that they're parallel to the diagonals, all of these will be right angles here. And the area of a rectangle is base times height. But what is my base? My base is diagonal one or diagonal two, and my height is the other diagonal. So really the area of this whole shape is diagonal one times diagonal two. Now, if you're thinking, where's the one half come into play? I'm only trying to find the area of this rhombus here. So I am coloring in the parts that I would cut off from this, imagine this is like a piece of construction paper and I would cut off these flaps to get my original rhombus. And through maybe some triangle congruence proofs, we could prove that this triangle that I'm pointing out right here is congruent to this one, and this one's congruent to that one, that one's that one, that one's that one. Um, so basically what I'm doing, I have four that I'm keeping, four that I'm cutting off, so I'm taking out half of this big parallelogram here, which is exactly where the one half in the formula comes from. So this one right here would be for the whole, big parallelogram that I drew, rectangle I drew. This one is for just my rhombus. Um, I could go through the same process here for the kite, uh, but you'll see that it's just gonna be the same thing. So I'll just maybe sketch it real quick, maybe some ugly lines here. Um, and the reason why, again, this one works is that I can create congruent triangles. I can create this rectangle. And the reason why it's a rectangle, the reason why it really does work is the relationship that the diagonals are perpendicular. So it works the same way with kites as rhombuses because both of them have perpendicular diagonals. So now that we kind of know why and what these formulas are, um, let's try to put them to use real quick. So right here, find the area and perimeter of each. And I'm actually today, I changed my mind. I just want you guys to do the area. So this right here is a kite. Area would equal, and I'm gonna have you use one half times diagonal one times diagonal two. Um, and I'm just gonna sub in values. They give me both the diagonals. They say this diagonal right here, if I look down here, says it's seven. Diagonal two, does not matter which one's which, by the way. It's 11. Seven times 11 is 77, and half of 77 is, and you can, again, fact check me on this. Always check my answers too as you're going through this. If you find something, let me know. Uh, I got 38.5 units squared, it is still area. And just to show you with the rhombus, it would work the same way. Area equals one half, oop, one half, got a little scribble right there times diagonal one, times diagonal two. Ugly handwriting, that's okay, it'll get the job done. Area equals one half times diagonal one. This time I'm seeing 12, diagonals two is 16. When you multiply by one half, don't take half of both, just half of one of them. I'm gonna do half of 16, it makes my multiplication a little bit easier. Half of 16 is eight. This way I don't need a calculator per se. 12 times eight, I would get 96, and that would be units squared or square units. So. 
Uh, that is for today, area, and, and we actually, I took off this instead of area and perimeter, just area of rhombus and kites because those are a little bit more interesting, especially rhombus being a parallelogram, talking about the second type of area formula. So um, again, I provided some of my notes for the backside of this online, and there is some practice problems for you to try yourself. Um, good luck, and we will see you tomorrow.